so the horn is not working plus uh, I'm getting this uh, airbag uh, airbag uh, inoperative uh, light uh, plus all these switches are not working for the volume up and down to answer the telephone the cruise control buttons so uh, the problem is that they're inside over here which is controlling the airbag and all these switches and the horn is uh, something known as a uh, steering uh, clock spring uh, it's just a coil of wires which uh, attaches all these uh, uh, controls uh, uh, to the electronics of the car which after some time stop uh, working so i'm going to try and uh, fix this myself remove the airbag and uh, change uh, this uh, clock spring as we are going to be dealing with the airbag, it's a good idea to disconnect the battery and leave the vehicle for about 15 minutes. So if there's any charge in the circuitry, uh, it can dissipate before we uh, try to disconnect the uh, airbag. And we just leave this so it doesn't touch uh, any metal, metal part. Okay, so now to remove the uh, airbag uh, we're going to have to there's a there's a hole underneath over here if you can see uh, just over here underneath the steering wheel over here so we just got to poke a screwdriver in there and uh, and we'll release the airbag by doing that so So when we put the screwdriver in through the hole underneath, yeah, so basically it's this metal thing that we're pushing up which releases uh, the whole airbag unit. There you go. You just press that in that hole and it uh, releases the, the airbag. Now, Since now we've got the airbag uh, released, uh, we've got to disconnect uh, the wires. So we've got to get disconnected. That wire. And so this is the airbag connection. Lift this up. And lift this one up. And these just disconnect like that. So now we've disconnected the airbag. I'm going to place that facing downwards, so just in case if it does deploy, uh, this part won't go flying up. It will be this part which is slightly better. So now in this, to get the steering wheel off, uh, we got to undo this, uh, this uh, nut. Um, the steering wheel is straight and uh, before we do that, we can uh, disconnect just pull this connector out okay so we just press this clip from there and so you remove this connector so now all the electronics are disconnected so now we just going to uh, undo this to get the steering wheel off okay to get the steering wheel off we need a 10 millimeter uh, ratchet Here and connect to this uh, extended. There you go.
So we remove the nut. Yeah. There is. Once we remove the bolt, uh, the nut. Once you remove the nut, we've got uh, the alignment for putting back the steering wheel. So this line has to be in line. So whenever we're putting back the steering wheel, uh, we can align it correctly. To remove the steering wheel, just got to wiggle it a bit. And the steering wheel is off. Uh, just get these wires out. These are the wires that connect the airbag. And the steering wheel is off. So this is the part that uh, I need to change in uh, over here in Doha. It's available for about uh, 1500 to 1700 reals new, um, which is about 450, approximately 450 dollars. Uh, I managed to buy one from Alibaba.com for about 40 dollars. So let's see. I'm gonna. Do, um, Replace it and see how well it works. So this is this is uh, what I got from Alibaba.com, and I'm going to replace it and see how it goes. So when buying this online, you just got to make sure that uh, this has eight pins on one side and three pins on the other side. Uh, some of them look exactly the same, but the pins, the connecting pins are different. And even over here, you have to have, I think there are eight. So you just got to match that the pins are correct before purchasing it. So now to remove this housing, we've got to unscrew uh, three screws over here with the Phillips screwdriver. The second one is this one, and the third one is, is, is this one. So this is to remove these panels. Plus, once removing this, we'll need to undo this panel. Uh, it's just held up with one screw over here. So we undo this screw and uh, get rid of uh, this uh, housing over here. So unscrew this. down like this easily. There we go. So this one is removed and, and this one can be removed. So now we, when we're adjusting the clock screw this has to be centered uh, like that so that it moves one, two and a half this side and when we want to center it, half back, up, one, to this side, plus the other side. So basically one, two, and it should come over here. So if we go back here, one, two, so this is the center position. So the steering wheel can rotate left and right equal distance without breaking the uh, spring coil inside. Now again to remove uh, the clock spring itself we have to do undo two screws one over here and it's just clipped on top so we just press this clip down over here So just this clip over here, we press down over here and it moves out. So this one also has to be removed. Uh, you just press it on top with a screwdriver and this clip comes out. So once you remove it, you have 
these two clips over here, which again, you just, there you go, this one also, there you go, and same with this one. There we go. So now we've removed the clock spring. So now the clock spring is off. Uh, so this is the new one that we're going to re replace. Uh, so the indicator uh, units, uh, we just press over here and over here, and they just kind of clip off. Simple. And this we can just replace onto the new ones. Same this side. Uh, the indicator and the wiper and headlight units just clip off like that. So this is the old one. Now the new one it has a lock. This is uh, locked into the central position. So this is the headlights. The headlights just clip back and There we go, just clip back, so that was simple. The same way. Now, these are a bit tricky. They, these uh, ones, they kind of slide into each, into each other. Uh, so like that. And then they go in. So you got to basically uh, put one in, the yellow one in before, and then this one afterwards. And then the boss clip in. There we go. This one just clips in like that. So this clip goes in there. You just got to tighten these two. Bolts. This one. And this is now solid. Now before attaching the uh, steering wheel back, uh, we need to remove this uh, plastic lock, which basically locks the clock screw in the central position. So now we're gonna put these covers back on. This one goes underneath over there, just side. goes there and uh, this one is on top in there That's it. That clips back together so this uh, panel underneath just with one screw Just one screw back, holding down this panel. This panel is correct. And one there. And and one in there. So that's all tight. Now we're gonna fit the steering wheel back. The uh, airbag wires go through back this slot. 
one and then two and out from here and we align the steering wheel we have to align basically align these two lines so now the steering wheel is absolutely aligned so before we tighten up the nut uh, that is all aligned okay so the steering wheel is aligned we uh, connect this uh, connector we just push in and connect that's connected the steering wheel is in back in place and we put back the nut tighten it So you're supposed to use a, uh, a t torque wrench which you can set the torque to 25 to tighten that but I've just tightened it as, as much as I can. The steering wheel will not fall off or this nut will not uh, become loose. So now you're just going to reattach the airbag and connect the, this is the most likely the switch for the horn and these are the airbag switches so the yellow one just uh, clips on like that Now let's see if okay so indicator is working ride indicator is working high beam lights uh, wipers water so all the levers are working let's see Let's turn this on and okay, the volume is going the volume is volume is going up and uh, cruise control also working. Wow, horn horn is also working, but we are still getting the uh, airbag light. So for that um, there's a procedure to put the, the electronics into diagnostic mode so three times we have to switch it on and off just the ignition not start it and it goes into diagnostic mode and then the fourth time we start it and uh, it should uh, become okay so let's see that so, so it's still on it starts blinking. Switch 
it off. One, two, three, four, five. Switch it on. As soon as it starts blinking, switch it off. One, two, three, four, five. Switch it on. Off. One, two, three, four, five. The third time. And off. One, two, three, four, five. And now we switch it on. It's blinking. And there we go, it's off. So now we get started. And the airbag light is off. There we go. Turn it on. And it goes off and stays off. That is fixed.